All right, hey y'all. This is right here is um. I don't know if this like gonna be like a. I don't know if you would want to call this like a, a channel message or like a. a what is it called? Like a channel message or like an intuitive message. I don't really know like what you want to call it. I got woken up out of my sleep. We're going to finish this series. Um, hold on a second, y'all. I feel like I need to. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know if we should call this like a channel message or maybe like an intuitive message. I don't know. I have been meaning to record. I'm going to start back the um, the signs, I guess, in December. I'm still trying to adjust to my new schedule. Um, and I said I was going to at least, like, try to post, like, one video a week, like, just to keep myself out there. But it's a lot of stuff that I'm trying to do right now because I'm trying to prepare for 2023 just so I could, you know, like, so I could be on track. I'm trying to set myself up, so... I ain't gonna necessarily say like you're gonna get the message whenever you get the message, but you're gonna get the message. But this right here, um, I got woken up out of my sleep. And at first I wasn't gonna get up and record, but I was just like, you know what? I'ma just go ahead and record because I keep on having like the same dream like over and over again. Everybody that's getting a reading they pretty much i ain't gonna necessarily say like everybody getting like the same reading but it's like everybody is like in the same energy or like in similar energy and it's like um i've been over there on on tiktok and it, <coughs> and that was like a confirmation like like okay excuse me y'all for that cough but that was like a confirmation like yeah i do need to make this video because it's getting out of hand like it's getting out of hand and y'all already know how i talk so this video is it's not gonna be filtered it's definitely not gonna be filtered because i got woken up out of my seat to do this shit well i ain't gonna necessarily say like to to do this shit like i don't want to do it spirit forgive me but um but yeah, it's um it's getting out of hand. So I guess I'ma just like pull some cards. I'ma pull some cards and then I'ma like speak on the situation or like I guess I could say like I'ma like tell y'all some of the shit that I've been like seeing in my dreams and like the shit that um the stuff that, like, I've been seeing in my dreams and, like, the stuff that, like, people been getting readings, like, the stuff that's been coming out in people's readings, and it's, like, this energy, like, it's so heavy and it's so toxic, and this is, like, a message, like, like, whether you a tarot reader, like, whether you a medium, like, whether you on social media, or whether you, like, a, like, some type of, like, artist or, um, what is it like an artist an actor a comedian a stylist a makeup artist a teacher whoever whoever it is it don't matter what your occupation is i feel like this this, this shit happens in all occupations i feel like what i'm about to speak on it happens in all friendships i just feel like this right here is just gonna be like a, a life a life discussion i guess and it may still end up tying into the domestic violence series, but we're not gonna talk about it. we I'm a I'ma complete the series, but I'ma complete it tomorrow. Once I get done working, y'all. I'm trying to do a whole bunch of shit. But um yeah. It's like it's getting out of hand and it's and it's so crazy because it's like People be thinking that people don't be knowing, but people be knowing, like, what the fuck is going on. It's like, you see right here, like, with this, like, three of cups, dude, with, with this three of cups, 
it's like what I'm getting from this. It's like, it's like the message that I'm getting from this is that your enemies, do I got all my cards? The message that I'm getting from this is that your enemies celebrated too soon. Another message that I'm getting from this is that you dancing with the devil. Another message that I'm getting from this, uh, like as far as like you dancing with the devil, it's like a lot of people, a lot of people that you be like, he he and ha ha with, like they really don't fuck with you like that. Like some of your clients that you be like, he he and ha ha with, they don't fuck with you like that. Like they don't fuck with you like that. They don't fuck with you like that. Those friends that you be he he and ha ha with, they don't fuck with you like that. Those family members that you be he he and ha ha with, like they don't fuck with you like that. Like, pretty sure like all of y'all the ones that's been watching me for a long time. Everybody came over from Facebook. Y'all already know that like I get messages through music and of course y'all know I see shit in my dreams and I be having like my little that's so raving moments and then I can hear conversations as well. I pick up on a lot of shit. And I don't know. I feel like I've been picking. I ain't gonna say say like I've been picking up on like too much shit. But it's like I've been picking up like on a lot of people energy. They'll be watching me. Well, of course, they like be watching me. But it's like I feel like with this right here, it's like I'm seeing like a picture. Like, this is the same thing that happened when, um, what's that girl name? This reading may be all over the place, y'all, but it may be a message in there. If you watch it, you watch it. If you don't, you don't. Y'all remember that girl, um, Kanika Jenkins? I remember when she first died. I remember when she first died. She had came to me. I don't want to get into detail about that. But it's like... It's like that 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 energy is like it's real heavy right now. Like it's real heavy right now. Like that Kanika Jenkins information. Uh well the Kanika Jenkins uh energy is like over it's it, it got it's similar to this. So like they telling y'all to like to, to check y'all friend groups. They telling y'all because you don't know who know who. You don't know who's working with who. Um, just like with the the young girl, what's her name? Shaquilla. I don't know her last name, but the girl that her friends took her all the way out the country, like just to be her to death. Like they tell y'all to check y'all friend circle. They also telling y'all to be like cautious of telling people like what your next move is because motherfuckers is really out here copying shit and the crazy part about people that's out here copying shit is that they trying to build up a whole game to try to make it seem like you the one that's copying now this is a message for somebody they trying to build up a whole game to try to make it seem like you the one that's copying them when the dates are proof that they are the ones that's copying you, okay? When they are the ones that's copying you. So I'm going to use myself as an example only because at first I was contemplating about talking about it, but then I was like, nah, I'm gonna talk about it. The only reason why I'm gonna talk about it is because that's another thing. If God give you a message to speak, like speak, because it's people out there that's doing spell work to try to make you not speak. Like that's what woke me up out of my dream because, because, uh, that I keep I honestly been having like the like like similar dreams like for the, the past two weeks. It's like people don't spell work on your kids, people don't spell work on your business, people don't spell work on your views, people doing uh spell work to try to like like pe people already know that 
that the truth is going to come out and people are doing spell work on your throat chakra so that you don't speak the truth like and this is not just for me but this is like for other tarot readers because it's like i seen i I seen a lot of other tarot readers like doing spell work on other people and then it's like i seen regular people like a lot of people did a lot of shit up under the, the last moon or whatever but it's a lot of um it's a lot of people that's like doing i guess they call them like shut up spells or whatever like like trying to get people to shut up from the truth coming out um also too like it's a lot of people that's like trying to uh do like spell work to like to mind control you as well it was like the the, the song that's coming to me is uh what is it called controller by drake y'all should go listen to that song because it might be a message in that song i also feel like too y'all gonna be dealing with a sick y'all y'all gonna be dealing with situations to where y'all gonna feel the negative energy but y'all not gonna know where the negative energy is coming from but it's like what spirit is telling me like all you gotta do is just pray and it's going to either be shown to you like in a vision or it's going to be shown to you in a dream or like maybe like when you log on like social media like like that that person like that the person is doing it like either like they they picture or they they, they video going to pop up yeah Either they picture or they video gonna pop up or a mutual friend or maybe it's just they friend and y'all just so happen to be friends on social media gonna pop up and that's gonna be your confirmation that that's the person that's doing spell work. That's the person that's sending you evil eye and all that. It was like I also had like a vision of like people. Yeah, I already said that like people doing like uh like school magic. Um, I also had like a vision it's like people in the group chat it's like some people in the group chat and some people are like uh some people in the group chat and they either be in a group chat or they do like a zoom call or they be like at a meetup group and it's like they all come together and they do like spell work um a lot of the, the spell work that they do they do like a lot of uh they do a lot of stuff with like jars and then it was like i also had like uh the dreams of like this is the thing like even if y'all get a bad vibe off of me like like stop watching me too but like um i also had like a dream with like the different readers like how like the ones on youtube like how they'll be manipulating energy like some of them will manipulate energy to to try to get you to come watch they uh like if, if you feel somebody pulling on your energy like and you feel like it's that you you feel like it's that person or you feel like it's those people like don't don't go to them and don't and don't entertain them because if you go to them or if you entertain them i'm not gonna necessarily say that like the spell work is gonna work but by you giving them your energy it's like you're welcoming whatever 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 energy that they trying to send you it's like you welcoming that into your life so it's like if you get a bad vibe off that person like just stay away from that person like just 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 block that person page or just do like the, the not interested you know what i'm saying like just click on the not interested thing on your page because that's gonna be another sign that like this person is like doing spell work on you or they trying to like tr or they trying to take advantage of you another sign that somebody is doing spell work on you too like they just gonna get sick out of nowhere so it's like that's how you gonna like that's gonna be your number one now, now some people they really do got a reason to be sick but it's like you you'll know like like they just gonna get sick and you just gonna be like oh okay so you so that was you who was sending that energy um
back to the copying message. I also had, I know I've been getting this, honestly, this is not the first time I got this message, but I keep on having fucking dreams about it. So they, so they just want me to say it. Like, I don't care if you feel offended or not. Like, I got woken up out of my sleep, so I'm going to just speak my damn mind. A lot of these readers are not fucking channeling. Like, and it's so obvious that they not channeling. It's so obvious that they not channeling because how the hell, how the hell everybody got the same reading? Now, I understand that we are all one. I understand that we are all here on earth. I understand frequencies. Like, I understand all of that. But it's no way in hell one person posts one reading and then all of a sudden a hundred other readers got the same reading like like that shit is that that shit is it's, it's it, it's starting to look it's starting to look crazy and it make the tarot community look real bad like y'all the regular people i'm not saying that we not regular but like the people that's not readers, they be clowning tarot on TikTok. <laughs> they be clowning tarot on TikTok because they they starting to see the same bullshit too. Like, like I understand too. Like how like like some of us like we do have some of the same viewers, so we may pick up on the same message like here and there. But ain't no way in hell every single one of your messages that you post is the same. It's the same message as as another one. It's like like do like like do you have a mind of your own? Like like are you really using your gifts? Like it's like what are you doing? I can't believe y'all got me doing this. I just hate that I got to be the one to do this. But it's just like whatever. It's it's just like, what are y'all doing? And it's like, I know I'm not tripping because... I know I'm not tripping because... Because it happened to me. Like, how all of a sudden... After I post my video, which is funny because... I already expected it, but it's it's kind of cool to know that it's that many people watching me. But how how all of a sudden after <laughs> after I post my video, all of a sudden everybody's Scorpio reading is uh everybody's Scorpio channel reading is my story that happened. <laughs> It's my story that happened like three or four years ago that I was talking about in my domestic violence story. Like that is, that's so weak, but I guess, I guess if, if y'all want to do that, then it's just like, it's just like, I guess, which is why I never come on here and tell y'all none of my current business because it's like, you say one thing and it's like people people are around with it and it's like you can't get on here and you can't be telling all your business either because it's like people get on here and they'll run with it and like if it's something good they'll try to go behind it and try to and try to mess it up like you already wasn't 10 steps ahead of them like god didn't already show you like oh okay like this person is going to try to go in and try to do a reading to try to manipulate the energy or oh, this person going to try to go back and try to do spell work to try to manipulate the energy to for for this not to happen for you so it was just like i found i i found that real funny <laughs> I found that I found that real funny because they just like, oh yeah, like this is the current energy. And it's just like, y'all. 
me and my baby daddy have been broken up for what like three or four years okay i'm coming out and i'm telling my story because once i got done doing my shadow work and once i got done talking to god that's when he revealed to me that your assignment is battered women and children you went through what you went through because you're supposed to help kids go through the stuff that you went through in your childhood and you're supposed to help other women out and other mothers out that's going through the same thing that you went through in the past which is another reason why i stopped posting my kids because people started doing spell work on my kids. It was like, at first, it was like, at first I was upset about it. But then I was just like, I was like, I, I found the good in the situation because in the midst of me find in, in the midst of me finding out that people was doing spell work on my kids, I, I learned that my kids also had spiritual gifts too. So it's just like, it's just like what I said last week, like, like, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. But the weapons that do prosper, it is it's, it's always it's it's always for my good. Because now that the you know, now that I know that my kids got gifts now i can teach my kids at an early age how to protect themselves spiritually now that i know that my kids got gifts i can teach my kids how to use their gifts and how to embrace their gifts and how to be confident in using their gifts because when i was a child i didn't have that you know what i'm saying like when i was a child everybody was like oh bitch you crazy when i'm telling them like oh i'm seeing spirits or oh i can hear spirits or oh i can see the demons within you that that was another reason why like i had got to a point to where like you know what i'm saying like if i'm in a room with a whole bunch of people that i don't know i be quiet because i can see the the i can see the demons in everybody or the demons that be in everybody they be trying to fucking talk to me or hell even if it don't be like the demons it be like they passed on loved ones like they be trying to talk to me to, to give them messages. And it was just like, for so long, everybody's just like, oh, you tripping. Oh, you crazy. Oh, shut up. It's like, after a while, you just, you know, as a child, you you just you you just shut up and you just watch the demons just follow all, all the fucking adults. Like, <laughs> it's like, that's what you eventually do. But it's just like, back to the good side of it is that you know like my my kids can't embrace their spiritual gifts at an early age like my daughter is 10 years old and she can read the fuck out of you my daughter 10 years old she can read the fuck out of these cards so um, it's it's just like um it's just like another you know what i'm saying like a thank you because hey we all locked and loaded spiritually and physically so it's good but um but back to this this copying thing the copying needs to stop like everybody like it's like god gave everybody their own brain god gave everybody their own sacred chakra look the, the music stopped that's a sign that's a sign that this copying stuff it has to stop like like it's time for you to use your own head it's time for you to use your own brain cells like do you have any brain cells like it's crazy and then what and then what what kills me the most is that the ones that be copying people they'll try to turn around and say that somebody copying them and that shit is crazy. Like, if you gonna copy somebody, sit back and do that shit in silence. Like, like you don't even gotta give that person credit. I'm the type of person where I'm, I'm gonna give you your credit. But it's like, damn, if you don't, if it's it's one thing for you to get inspired and for you to copy the person, but it's a whole nother thing 
for you to get inspired and for you to completely like go and downplay the person and then try to gain and then try to create a game to try to make yourself look innocent and to try to make yourself look like you just top tier try to make yourself like you was the original creator when all you gotta do is go look at the date and go look at the time and it's clear that that the person that that the other person that you trying to downplay or the other person that you trying to look down on was the one who did it first it's just like stop and then what be fucked up in some situations is that i can use myself as an example which i am going to use this in my domestic violence series so y'all may, may hear this again but y'all it was this is where it comes from too like where they said like god will use you to heal your enemies like these people that i helped start their career like i didn't even know that they was an enemy until after their career kicked off but this girl and her sister yes her mama did do hair but your mama was doing hair and I was doing hair, but you didn't have no mannequin. You came to me personally and you asked me, how do I, now you you was doing hair, but you ain't doing hair like that. Like you, you knew like the small stuff, but you didn't know a lot. I didn't come to you and say, hey, do you want me to show you how to do this? I didn't come to you and say, hey, do you want me to uh, do this? You came to me and you said, hey, can you teach me how to do this? Can you show me how to do this? Can you explain to me how you do this? So in return, what I did for free was I gave you a, a whole mannequin for free. I taught you how to braid for free. I gave you a whole cosmetology textbook for free. And you turned around and you shitted on me and now you see this wild, wild. Now you out here wilding. Now you out here wilding, telling the whole world that somebody copying you when I'm the motherfucker that taught you. Not saying that you gotta give me credit. You don't gotta give me no credit, but you not gonna continue to downplay me and to try to make it seem like I'm copying you when I was your teacher. You don't gotta give me no credit, but you're not. You're not gonna downplay me. You're not gonna downplay me. Then, after your career started taking off a little bit, you wanted me to come work with you. You asked me to be a business partner. I bet you didn't tell nobody that part. You 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 wanted me to be your business partner. But my intuition said my intuition said no, don't be this person's business partner, which I'm glad I didn't because of what's going, but because of how everything played out. You was going to turn on me in the end anyway. And what's going on right now is proof that you was going to turn on me anyway. So this is a lesson to listen to your intuition the first time. Now, I did, like, like after stuff had went on. Now, honestly, I said no for two reasons. The first reason why I said no was because my intuition said no. The second reason why I said no was uh, because of the situation that I had going on with my baby daddy. It wasn't stable. So I didn't feel comfortable enough to be going out here creating a business partnership when my foundation is rocky. So I said no for two reasons. Then, then eventually I was like, you know what? Well, maybe I can, you know what I'm saying? Like try this whole business partnership thing out. So I did go back and I asked you twice. Okay, you still want to work together, you still want to work together. You just like, oh yeah, I'm going to call you back, I'm going to call you back. And you never did. Now, the whole time you're trying to make it seem like I'm trying to beg you for something. 
And I ain't trying to beg you for shit. I wasn't trying to beg you for nothing. When the reality side about it, the truth end up coming out. The truth end up coming out that you didn't want me to come work with you because you had not already talked so much shit about me to where you couldn't even face me. You didn't want me to come work with you because it was going to make you look stupid. You didn't want me to come work with you because I was going to outshine you. And that's the reality side about it. And then it's like, not, not only did I invest in you, I also invested into your sister. Which I'm not going to go too far in on that because your sister ain't saying much. But I mean, that's your sister, so I'm pretty sure that she gonna have your back regardless. But even when I seen that your sister was trying to get serious, what I did, I gave her a little, a, a little game, a little blueprint. I gave her a whole bag of hair. I gave her a mannequin. And I gave her a whole fucking station. Do you know how much a fucking station costs? So... If I gave you a free braiding class and I gave you a whole cosmetology textbook and I gave you a blueprint, how can you say that I'm jealous of you or I'm trying to compete with you? Or I'm copying you? Or even when it comes down to your sister, how can you say I'm copying you when truth be told, Y'all career didn't take off until after we had that discussion. I'm not looking for no credit. I'm not looking for no credit, but you're not going to downplay me. You don't got to give me no credit, but you're not going to downplay me. You're not going to downplay me like, oh, I wouldn't do this or be here if it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't going to downplay me. You ain't going to downplay me. You not going to downplay me. When the proof is in the pudding. And it's just like, I feel like this is a message for like everybody. Like, believe in yourself as much as your haters believe in you. Believe in your own dreams. Believe in your own ideas as much as your back as much as your haters believe in your ideas. Believe in your dreams as much as your haters believe in your dreams. Because if somebody can get your blueprint, if somebody can can study you and take your blueprint and take off with it. You should do the same thing, okay? And like I said, I wasn't going to speak on this, but I had a dream that, like, it was a shut-up spell being done. So, no, I'm not going to shut up. I'm going to speak about it because I know I'm not the only person that's going through this. I know I'm not the only person that's going through this. Because people that book the reading, they're going through it. Other tarot readers, I'm pretty sure they're going through it. Other regular people in other fields and other niches, I'm pretty sure they 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 going through it. And I feel like, and I, I don't know, people are gonna be like, oh, well, why are you trying to make this about you? Bitch, God called us to give y'all these messages. I mean, like, my thing is God used us to give y'all these messages. My thing is. Would you want to take advice from somebody that ain't been through what you've been through? Would you want to listen to somebody that ain't been through what you've been through? Would you want to take advice from, from, from somebody that ain't been through shit? So, yes, in some way, shape, or form, the readings is going to eventually end up intertwining into, into our personal life because we have to experience it in order for us to help you through it. Because I'm not finna listen to somebody that ain't fucking been through the shit. Like, I'm not gonna listen to you. I'm not gonna listen to you. 
So I'm just here to tell you that that you're not alone. And it's like, don't get upset about it. Like, just use that as motivation to continue to do what you're doing. And use that and, and transmute that into a compliment. Like, transmute that into a compliment. Like, like you know what? You know what? I'm going to believe in my dreams as much as you believed in my dreams. I'm going to believe in myself as much as you believed in me. And I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to believe in myself. Because it's like the numbers and stuff, y'all, it's 2023. We can all be real. Them numbers and stuff don't mean shit. Them numbers, them numbers don't mean nothing. What 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 means the most is your character. What means the most is your integrity. What means the most is what you do when that camera is turned off. What 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 means the most is the the change or the influence that you have on your community. What means the most is the change or the influence that you have on this world. What means the most is that you showing up as your true authentic self and you not showing up as nobody else. That's what means the most. What means the most is how you treat people that genuinely fucking care about you. That's what means the most. That's what means the most. Now, it's one thing if you're dealing with a snake motherfucker that try to act like they're trying to help you and they really ain't trying to fucking help you. That's another thing. But it's a whole other thing. Like, when a motherfucker really genuinely give a fuck about you, like, really trying to pour into you, and you just going out and you just trying to downplay them and shit on them and all this and that. Like, that's two different things. But it's like... I'm just here to tell y'all to not let that shit stop y'all, to not let that shit uh, discourage y'all, and to keep fucking going, and to get rid of these fake-ass friends. I don't give a fuck if it's friends. I don't give a fuck if it's a client. I don't give a fuck how long that client been coming to you. You don't know who the fuck you dealing with, and you don't know who the fuck they dealing with. So let that motherfucker go. Trust your intuition the first time. It's too many people. It's 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 too many people losing their lives trying to hold on to pointless ass fucking friendships. To pointless ass partnerships. To pointless ass fucking relationships. It's too many people out here. And this is for a mother or a father. Whether the mother is absent or whether the father is absent. Let that shit go. Just it just 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 look at it like this person decided to sacrifice their own kids. So if they decided to sacrifice their own kids, let them do that. And you just gotta keep going. Like you just gotta accept that. And you gotta you got to keep going. And another thing that I'm hearing too is that as long as you keep going and as long as you believe in yourself, you're going to end up surpassing. You're going to end up sur surpassing all these people that's trying to put up these illusions anyway. Because you was the original creator anyway. What Nicki Minaj said, you can't outdo the doer. I feel like that's like self-explanatory. Like you, you can't outdo the doer, okay? So they want you to believe in yourself. They want you to believe in your gifts. They want you to believe in whatever they seeing. I'm gonna say whatever they trying to show y'all. It might be an owl. 
I know it's been one in my backyard for like the past like month or two. He he be talking every night. He be talking every night, honey. He be talking every night. Believe in what you see. Believe in what you hear. And make sure that you set the, the correct boundaries that you need to set. This right here is another sign that somebody doing spell work to try to shut you up from, from you going out there to go speak the truth. This is another sign too that somebody out there doing spell work on your on your mind. You see these scores right here? So what they want you to do, y'all. Somebody working with a Baba too. Y'all know what's so crazy. What's gonna end up happening? Divine order. What goes around comes back around. Hey, my baby. The wheel is about to turn, right? So what's going to end up happening, right? You now went off and you decided to heal yourself. I feel like this they're telling you to um to detox. Okay. So so the spell work, the spell work that they doing is not going to affect you. You may feel it a little bit, but all you got to do is just detox. Um just detox. Drink your water. Um, I'm hearing, I don't know why I'm hearing distilled water. Y'all may be drinking distilled. Some, something about distilled water may be significant. I always say spring water, but something about like distilled water and like salt. So maybe they're telling y'all to like add salt to y'all water. Um, but yeah, like detox. Like all you gotta do is just fast. I got to, if you fast, it's gonna break the spell. Like that's the that that's the quickest way to break a spell. Like fast, like and just let them think that they spell work working, even though it's not. You know what I'm saying? Just let them think that they spell work working. But it was like before I put these other cards, it was like I seen the bye bye and I said why. I said eventually. Oh, the message I got from that is that eventually the people that's using a the bye bye, they bye bye gonna be like, uh, they bye bye gonna be like, well, why you keep on doing this or or why you doing this to this person? And what's gonna end up happening is that these people gonna be sitting back and they gonna be trying to figure out. Like why this spell work not working, and it's because the Baba just taking their money and they not doing the spell work because the Baba see through the illusions that 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 the Baba see that you innocent, so the spell work is is not gonna hit. It's not gonna hit. It's gonna end up going in your favor because the spell work see that this person has. A, a cycle or like a record of uh of just fucking with people for no reason but what's gonna end up happening is that all of that spell work is gonna end up backfiring on them whatever spell work that they did on you whatever spell work that they did on your kids whatever spell work that they did on your business it's gonna backfire on them And it's like, as they going down, you're going to be coming up. As they going down, you're going to be coming up. And I'm hearing that this is like divine order. So it's going to be like a divine intervention, okay? It's going to be like a divine intervention. And I'm hearing something about the bridge. Okay, so I'm getting, like, a lot of messages from this. It may be three people working against you. Or this could be, like, what they call it, like, the Trinity. Yeah, I'm so sleepy, but I'm, I'm going to get this message out. Um, Or this may be, like, the Trinity. Like, what is it? The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. I'm getting another message from this too, y'all. <sighs> oh, God. I'm really...
really tired of picking up on this energy. These people using spell work to tap into your mind to steal your ideas. So they tell you to protect your crown chakra. Um, protect your crown chakra. Like if you if you wear like a scarf to bed, like put this on your third eye. Like tuck it in and put like sleep with this on your third eye or sleep with this up under your pillow. Or if you if you don't wear a scarf, you can get like one of those um you can get you know how they got like those those headbands, like the the, the, the scratchy headbands that can fit around your head. And just stick this on your head to protect your crown. You really you can use any crystal um to protect your crown while you sleep, so they won't um so they won't tap into your thoughts. So they um yeah, so they won't tap into your thoughts. But it's like I also feel like too. I'm hearing bridge the gap. Hmm. I'm hearing the gaps in your story are going to be bridged together. I'm also hearing, too, the gaps the gaps in your enemies' stories are going to be bridged together. And I feel like all of the people that they tried to use against you, they're going to all end up retreating for it from each other retreating from each other. I feel like everybody gonna end up breaking apart from each other and they gonna start to see the truth in the situation that this person was copying you the whole time and they made money off of your ideas but they tried to make it seem like it was their ideas. And they tried to make it seem like they was doing bigger and they was doing better and I'm not gonna say too much, but we already know the number game. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. So it's just like, I guess they feel like they won because their numbers got higher, but it's just like, we already know how the number game works. So it's like, just because your numbers was higher, that don't mean that you stopped clientele. You know what I'm saying? Or that don't mean that you was the creator, you you was the original creator just because you got, you know what I'm saying? Just pre pretty much, you, uh, whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. So it's just like, I'm hearing they will get found out or sought out. Just drink water. They did this to try to mess up. To, they did this to try to mess with your self esteem, but it's like it's gonna end up messing with theirs in the end because you the one you you are the original creator. You you're not out here faking. You showing up as you. They the ones that that don't know how to be themselves. They don't even know who the hell they is. This is another confirmation that this has something to do with your work life. Everybody gonna see that they was the false one the whole time. So they like, don't even worry about it. And what's gonna end up happening is that like, uh, like this go around, as long as you stay consistent, like the universe saying like, do you want it? So it's like, as long as you stay consistent, you're gonna re reap all the rewards that you're supposed to reap. And you're gonna end up surpassing them anyway, because it was a lie anyway. So it's just like, whatever. Like, just let them have it, okay? Um, The tune-up card, I feel like they just want you to do, like, a little tune-up. Um, Just, you know, take your spiritual baths. Like, make sure you're cleansing your energy. And I'm hearing that this too shall pass. Look. They want you to tune-up because... This too shall pass because they tried to do a spell. It's all right here. They tried to do a spell to try to shut you up. 
They try to do a spell to try to take your power. You can't take nobody's power. What the fuck you think this is? <laughs> and then on top of that, too, they gonna try to say that you copying them. But you a reader. You a reader. And they start doing spiritual work after you start doing spiritual work. Whether they started reading cards, whether they start doing yoga, whether they start doing Reiki, whether they did this, whether they did that, bitch, it was after you. <laughs> they try to do spell work on your kids. Maybe your aunt or uncle. They did spell work on your car. But it worked out for you, though, because, bitch, this, the insurance was too high any fucking way. <laughs> and now all that money that you was investing into your car insurance, you can invest it into your business. Or you can get caught up on some bills. <laughs> all because they was jealous. They tried to use all these scare tactics, but you still end up blessed in the end because it wasn't nothing but small potatoes. And it's like they tried to lie about everything, but your dreams told you everything. They tell you to save yourself. I feel like they tell you to like just, just save yourself from like all the bullshit or maybe you needed a confirmation that somebody was doing spell work and they did but it's just like it still worked out in your favor like it helped you to ascend this remind me of i can't remember which one of them preachers said it but i heard this like a long time ago but i remember a preacher said you got you got to turn you got to turn into a snake in order for you to defeat a snake Trust your path because everything on backfire. Everything like every like that's why they, they they like don't worry about it. This is what my mama always taught us. Like, don't go out your way to like prove your point because the truth gonna end up coming out anyway. And it's like for the pe pe other people that's lying, it's like all, all the signs are there. All the signs are there that that, per that 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 person was lying, but they still got it. They they still got an image to uphold. So it's just like just just let them have it. They telling you to have grace on your on the people because they was just envious the whole time. But they also want you to get rid of these people because they love you today and then be gone tomorrow. You may be dealing with an Aries, or maybe you found out something during Aries season, or maybe the spell work started in, um, or maybe the Aries did the spell work, or maybe the spell work started in Aries season, or you found something out in Aries season. I don't know. Somebody in their feelings. Maybe they was your best friend. They might they might be trying to manifest you back. We just gonna pull all the cards, y'all. They might be trying to manifest you back. Okay, now this now this reading I, this this reading is going somewhere else. We just gonna go with the flow. So I feel like that was the first part of the reading. The first part of the reading is. Speak up for yourself. Speak up for yourself. All of the answers are going to come to you in your dream. All of the answers are going to come to you in your dreams. If they don't come to you in your dreams, like say for instance, like the TV may be on or like a song may come on and it's like the answers is going to be in that TV show or the answers is gonna be in that song. Or like your kids, like you know how God will use your kids. Your kids may say something and that's gonna be a confirmation or you may hear somebody over talking in the store. 
that's gonna be your confirmation now this um this second part with this aries i feel like an uh, aries is probably like your best friend like I don't necessarily want to say they doing. We we gonna see. This could either be spell work or this could either be um alcohol. You know what? Somebody might be drinking cause they in their feelings. You probably went to school, yeah. You probably went to school with that person. I'm looking at the heart. This okay future yeah. fragile Sagittarius I feel like in Sagittarius season you may find out that your friend that's an Aries is in love with you. What's in the bathroom? Bathroom, Sagittarius, no. Nightlife, heart. And friends again. And this your granddaddy. Benefits. Chosen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. I get it. Okay. The first message, they did the spell work. They did, but hey, it's 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 on backfire. Whatever. Next next subject reading two you're gonna find out that an aries or maybe somebody that's like a boss like figure you're gonna find out that like this person probably was like the type of person this person probably was like the type of person that like completely like just brushed you off and that was like uh they probably was like on some shit like nah i don't want to be with you like like let's just be friends um yeah like like nah like you you're not my type like they probably some shit like that like nah i don't want to be with you like nah you're not my type like let's just be friends and it's like this person probably like start like trying to like like push you away or something like that like yeah like no like nah i don't want to feature with you but i feel like you're gonna find out that like you going to find out that, like, every time this person get drunk with the nightlife card and with the potion card, like, this person might be, like, out with their friends. And whenever they get... <laughs> it's not funny. But whenever they get drunk, like, they start thinking about you. Or, like, whenever they get hot, whenever they get high, they start thinking about you. And I feel like you're going to find out in Sagittarius season. And I feel like you probably got like a, a past on like loved one, like a granddaddy that's coming in to give you this message. But I feel like, um, it's, I feel like you're going to find out in Sagittarius season that this person was really in love with you the whole time. And I feel like you're going to find out that like this person was like hurt that they said like, it like, like they regret that they said like oh let's just be friends because they really like did want to be with you like they really was attracted to you but i feel like their friends talked them out of it i feel like their friends talked them out of it or they tried to be like on some shit like nah like like let's just be friends but they was in love with you the whole, yeah. They was in, look, it's true. They was in love with you the whole time. So that's a message for, for, for somebody else. Okay. 
So, like, like even if this person is not, like, an Aries, like I said, it may be, like, a, a male figure that's, like, a boss that may be, like, yeah, that's, like, a boss figure or whatever. And, like, some type of authoritative position. I feel like you're going to find out that the, I feel like you're going to find out the person that rejected you was was in love with you this whole time. I feel like they still is in love with you this whole time. And I feel like with this music note and with this true card, you know, this person, um, this person probably been sending you songs or this person probably made, yeah, this person probably made songs about you. This is King D. This person probably made songs about you. What else gonna come out? These little late night readings, honey. You got sadness. You got suitcase. You got set up. You got laugh. You got weekly. And then you got immature. Maybe this person rejected you because maybe this person thought she was immature. What's that up? Mm, how can I get that answer? Clarify the setup part. Y'all, I don't know what's gonna be in this reading. Y'all know I don't get it on reading, so whatever come out, come out. Let's set up. I get it. I get it. Okay. So, this this person really, the crazy part about it, this person, this person want to, this person wants you. Like, this person want to build with you. Like, this person, this person want to work with you. Like, yeah, thank you for your commitment. This person want to commit to you. And I feel like, yep, look. I feel like, I feel like this person, yeah, this person wanted to be with you the whole time. That was the confirmation right there. This person wanted, like, the setup part is not really like, oh, I'm about to set you up and rob you and kill you. It's like, no, this person, like, want to set up and build a, <clears throat> and build a foundation with you. I feel like um, I feel like this person, like you be on this person mind a lot, but I feel like they're scared to come forward because they probably feel like you're gonna laugh at them because of because they was the ones that like rejected you. Like it's it's not like they was on some shit like oh, oh I don't want to talk to you or or like nah I can't talk to you because I got this going on or 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 it's not like they was like oh. I, I can't talk to you because it's bad timing or or it's like oh because i'm already like in a relationship it was just like they was laughing about the shit when like i don't know or it's not like this person like took or this or it's not like this person or it's not like this person said like nah we can't be together right now because I'm trying to heal. It was like when you showed that you was interested in this person, like this person laughed at you in your face. And it was crazy because they wanted you the whole time. Yeah. The 
the granddaddy and the grandmother? You got hang on, and then you got unplug, and then you got forever. Y'all, this one is gonna be a lot of people that's gonna watch this because I'm getting another message. Okay. I should have just did a pick a card for this because now I'm just getting hella messages. Or maybe with this grand this grand granddaddy and this grandmother card, this may be a confirmation, right? That this person went forever with you. And I feel like this person unplugged. But you see how the plug is plugging into the hang on. I feel like this person is going to admit in Sagittarius season that they want to be with you. Or they're going to end up telling the truth. Like, oh, no, like, I always wanted you. I was, I was in love with you, but this happened. And I feel like the excuse, she's going to be like, well, no. Nah. Like, I feel like you're going to be like, well, no. Nah. This happened because you said this or not. Nah, this, this happened because you did this. Another thing that I'm getting to with, cause my, my, my eyes are stuck on your commitment. I feel like this person, this might be deep in, um, what you call it? Daddy, yep. Yep, I feel like this person I feel like this person is stuck in a relationship mm, Alright, let me take a sip I feel like this person is in a relationship, but they in love with you. And I feel like with this daily card, I feel like this person is already either a father or a mother. And they stuck in that relationship. Because of the child. I feel like they in love with you though. With this investigation card, I feel like this person been watching you. And I feel like they just been stuck in their head about, about how everything played out. They not happy. Look, the two hearts right there, they not happy with how stuff played out because they not happy. They not happy with the person. The person that they with, they not happy. Because that person is not that person that they truly love. That person don't got their heart. It's like, it's like this is the person, right? And then this is the person that they with right now. And then this is you. And it's like, they really want to come over here and move on. You see that O-N? They really want to come over here and move on to you or come back to you. But this person in the middle is keeping y'all apart or this person in the middle is a factor from keeping y'all apart or they already committed to this person in the middle i'm hearing just keep swimming just or you may be swimming do you like the boy please whatever 
I feel like, yep, I was just about to say that. I feel like I feel like, um, I feel like the, I feel like the person that they with right now, I feel like they know about the old person. And I feel like, And I feel like, I feel like now both of y'all be watching the old person page. And I feel like the new person is like, oh, you still in love with, with the person or you in love with that person. And, and it's like you answering back, like, boy, please, whatever. Like, I don't care about that person. Like, like, that was just my friends. Like, and I don't even necessarily want to say, like, the friends with benefits because you and this person probably ain't never even, like, kissed or, like, had sex before. But it's, like, you can't deny a connection. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't deny a real connection. Like, people know a real connection from a fake connection. Like, you can't deny a connection. Or you can't deny chemistry well i can't even say chemistry because a real bond is deeper than chemistry <clears throat> i also feel like too another thing that's like stopping this person from coming forward because they belong to like some organization so maybe to like uh maybe they like a member of like a uh, maybe like some type of like organization maybe like a church or like a, a cult or maybe like a gang or something that would stop them from being together or maybe this why this person settled i'm not going to say say like settled for this person but maybe this is why this person chose the person that they with right now because they was in the same organization yeah, because you got the same sex right here, okay? Or this person, they probably got a record, too. Yeah, because you got busted. So maybe, like, they feel like the person that they with right now is the only person who would accept them because they got a record. And I'm getting the energy is that it's the gang. So the organization, like maybe like the person that you with right now, like maybe y'all in the same gang or whatever. Y'all stay together. Y'all got a baby together. So the baby might be like a Gemini or maybe something significant happened in Gemini season or maybe I met in Gemini season and then you got never make a promise and then you got something about child support. I just feel like this is like, it's just, it's saying the same thing. Like it's a child that's affecting the relationship. I also feel like too, this person probably feel like like you were supposed to have their baby or they probably feel like their kids supposed to be your kids or they probably, or maybe like this person already know that you got kids and they willing to like accept your kids. And they got something about the club, so I just feel like that's either like the gang, the organization or whatever, or I just feel like 
this is what be going on in this person's head when they be at the club. Like, this person may go to the club a lot to get away from their home situation, okay? And they tell you that, like, the storm is over, the boat is coming. This, this, this is a dispute card, so I'm just about to stop the reading right here. I've been recording long enough. Um, I know it's not a good way to end the reading, to end the night, but my energy is drained. It's drained. Um, let me see. What can we leave this reading off? Um, I just had to get these messages out. Like, I had to get that out because I'm just like, hold on, wait a minute. And I knew I wasn't tripping. Now, this is a, before we end this video, y'all, to all the tarot readers, according to TikTok, the people that pay us to give them advice, they tired of hearing the same thing another reader said. Now, I understand that sometimes we do channel the same energy, but they want y'all to be yourselves and they want y'all to think for yourselves, okay? They they want y'all to give them a real channel message, okay? They want they want y'all to give them a real intuitive message that you get from whatever God that you pray to and that you praise, okay? Not from what you see another reader say, okay? They tired of that shit and they pointing that shit out, okay? So we just gonna leave this off with an affirmation, okay? So this affirmation says, even when things aren't perfect or don't seem to be working out, I choose to trust in life. Trust the process, okay? This one says, life doesn't have to be perfect in order for me to choose happiness. Today, I choose happiness. So today, choose to be happy, okay? Fuck all that bullshit. Believe in yourself. Chase after your dreams. And we're going to end it <laughs> with what Nicki Minaj said. You can't outdo the doer. Good night, y'all. We're going to finish the series tomorrow. I'm about to get back in the bed, okay? Hopefully, they don't wake me back up. I'm about to take this, this damn thing off and, and get in bed. All right, y'all. I'm about to upload this. I don't know how long it's going to take to upload. It may not upload until the morning. Well, it is. I don't know what it's like. I think it's like 11 something. Y'all know I'm old. I'll be going to bed early, but... Total loop, good night. Y'all will see my face in the next video. Smooches.